Lord God Almighty. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Israel. Make straight his path in the wilderness. Your name is Jehovah. Your name is Jesus Christ. Your name is Holy Spirit. Let his light shine. Let his light shine in the darkness. Welcome to the Gospel is the Power, Child of God. I hope you got to catch the first part of our message on the last show, and then this is the second part and the conclusion of our message. Be blessed. Hallelujah. A couple other quick things I'm going to tell you. We're going to be finished in just a minute because I want to have a lot of time to pray for you all tonight. See great miracles. Thank you, Jesus. We have to be willing to share our testimony. You know, we're Isaiah 43, verse 7. We're called for the glory of God. So when we can't raise our arm, we pray, and instantly we can praise it. We have to give God the glory. Amen. We have to be willing to share. Romans 1.16, the Bible says, Paul, he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the very power of God unto salvation for those who believe. Sharing your testimony solidifies it, speaking the truth of what God has done. So it's important, if we won't give our testimony here in front of Christians, how are we going to go to our workplace and say, this is what Jesus did for me? I couldn't bend yesterday, and someone prayed in the name of Jesus, and Jesus healed me, and look, remember, I was complaining all last week about my pain, look at it, what do we do, just sneak into work, and someone goes, oh, wow, you look different, what's different about you, oh, must be the makeup, must be my clothes, I don't know, we don't want to say, we don't want to give God glory, I always tell people I'm amazed, if a doctor, you have a sickness or something wrong with you, a doctor promised you for $10,000, he guarantees he'll heal you. You'd come up with the money. I know it. I would for some of the pain I've lived through. But all Jesus says is you just have to give me the glory, and we're like, oh, that's too much, Jesus. We can't be like that. Jesus said, if, the, if you're ashamed of me in this sinful and wicked generation of you, I'll be ashamed when we come in glory. That's why I'll go anywhere. I don't care if people, people can, I, I get things said about me on the internet all the time. They don't know. I don't take money for ministry. I don't ask for any, I spend money. But if you go on the internet, they'll say, oh, he puts up these phony videos. They're all actors so that he can raise money. They don't know anything about me. But you know what? I just think, well, thank you. You blessed me because Matthew 5, 12, Jesus said, blessed are those who are persecuted for my name's sake. So I'll, I'll take the extra blessing. Amen. But we can't be afraid. Do we want to be ashamed or afraid to speak up for Jesus or ashamed in front of people? Those people have no power over your life. So why are we going to let the devil intimidate us to not give Jesus the glory? We have to take that stride of faith in our life. God, you do this in my life, I'll give you the glory. That's what I did. I, got, I didn't know Jesus healed. He did one miracle. I haven't shut up since. 2004, I've traveled the world telling everyone about what Jesus does. Because I know that I know that I know. Because I'm acquainted with him. Amen? Look at that. We're, I'm going to make this all come together. I was wondering how that might happen. So, last thing I want to tell you very quickly. Don't give up. Don't give up. If you see a miracle here tonight and you don't get one, use that miracle and say, if God did it for them, he's not a respected person from to he'll do it for me. It may be timing. It may be that he's doing a healing through you. Don't be, people say, oh, brother, I saw all those miracles God did for other people, but I, and those were amazing, but I'm a little discouraged because I didn't get anything that I was coming for. You know what? If you really believe that God was here and touched those people, 
How hard is it for him to touch you? You should be dancing. That means mine is coming because you're acquainted with who he is. So sometimes there's a timing. Sometimes it's a healing. It, miracles are instantaneous and out of the bounds of natural law. I promise you, you will see some miracles tonight. Let that be an encouragement whether you get a miracle or not because you know God can do it for you. It means God hears our cry and answers. It's not the healing that was amazing. It was God who gives the healing showed up and did something. Amen. Amen. We're going to be right back, child of God, with more of the message. But first, I want to show you this miracle that God did for this child of God during one of our meetings. It happens all the time. Jesus is willing to move and fight for you. Believe for your miracle. He's the same, Hebrews 13, 8, yesterday, today, and forever. What he was doing in the Bible, we're still seeing it. He's doing it today, and he'll do it for you, child of God. Tell me. You had a stroke? Okay. We're going to believe for that to be healed. I've seen so many people with strokes be able to, are you not able to walk at all? You can or cannot? You can stand, but you can't walk. Okay. Um, I'm going to pray for you. Can you stand while I pray, or should I pray first and then stand? Not a long time, but you're going to. So I'll pray for you sitting here, and then I want to see you stand, and we're going to see if you're able to walk and move because we're believing for God to do it right now. Amen? He is the God of the resurrection. Romans 8, 11, Romans 6, verse 4, the same resurrection power that raised Jesus Christ from death to life is available to make you walk. Amen? We have to believe it. We think it. I'm going to walk in the name of Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. Pray for you. Just close your eyes. Look to the cross. I'm believing for you to walk tonight. Lord Jesus Christ, right now, God, you are the God of the resurrection. You are the living God. You said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus you are that resurrection. We believe in you. The resurrection power that raised you from death to life. Touch this daughter right now. In the name of Jesus, God, every effect of the stroke, all the infirmity, come out right now in the name of Jesus. We touch the hem of the robe of Jesus Christ. We touch the tree of life in the heavens. Oh God, Revelation 22, verse 1 and 2, whose leaves are for the healing of the nation. By faith, we touch them right now. We touch the hem of your robe. Your virtue flow in your daughter right now. Your virtue flow in your daughter right now. In the name of Jesus, I heal God the effects of the brain, the stroke, the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, the blood flow. God, let her be able to walk for your glory in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I heal the cervical cord. Resurrection power, resurrection power, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus, fire of God, fire of God, power of God, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, bring back that arm, bring back that right side. In the name of Jesus, the legs function normal. Now, for the glory of God, in the name of Jesus, every curse is broken. Right now, every sickness, I cast it out. Every curse, I break it. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. So, somebody can help me a little bit with, how do we take the feet, how do we take the foot things up? Yeah, just take those up. You just have you stand up for a moment. Wait. You can move that back just a drop. Now, you can this time you can help stand behind her and hold her for a moment. You can help hold her up for a moment. And you can lean on me right there if you need to. 
Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, God, right now. Come on, God, right now. The power of the resurrection. Close your eyes right now. Just look to the cross. Look to the cross. Jesus, your, your cross. Right now, your cross, bring the power. Your cross, bring the power. Your blood, bring the power. In her life, right now, right now, right now. Fire anointing of God. Fire anointing of God. Power of God, power of God, power of God. Now, I loose the arm in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, God. I loose her arm. I loose her arm right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I loose it now. I loose it now. I loose it now. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Right now. I loose the shoulder blade. Rotator cuff. Collarbone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now. I speak strength to the leg. Strength to the leg. Power of God. Power of God. Oh, right now. Her knees. Right now. Her body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. God, she must be able to take some steps and walk right now in the name of Jesus. Now, even take just one step and say, Jesus, one step, one step, one step. Come on, one step, one step. Jesus. I'm here. Don't hold her. Just keep it near. There it is. Come on. You're doing it. You're doing it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I heal this leg right now. I loose the muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Fire of God, fire of God, power of God, power of God. Right now, right now, right now. Jesus, oh, strengthen her now. One step, one step, there it is. One step, one step. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're doing it, Jesus. Just look to the cross, look to the cross. Look to the cross. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Wait one minute. God, right now. God, right now, I strengthen the muscles, tendons, ligaments, the bones. God, right now, give her strength. Give her strength, power. Loose the muscles. I loose the hips right now. I loose right now in the name of Jesus. Setting her free, setting her free. Power of God. Are you tired? You're exhausted? Amen. Here's the thing. This is the beginning. You want us to bring it so you can sit down for a moment? What's that? You want? No, leave it there. She wants to go back. Come on. Come on. You're doing it. You got it. You're doing great. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords. He's healing you. He's touching you right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here, let me come around front. Hold on. Here. Amen. You did great. Look at her face. How smiling, right? You haven't done that. You haven't even stood up. You haven't walked from there. She hadn't been able to take one step. Amen. God began right now. That's just the beginning. The Lord is telling me right now, if you exercise that every day like that, within three months, you'll be, you won't need this anymore. Amen? Hallelujah. You'll see it. And your arm is moving better too. Look at that. She's moving her arm. Look at that. You couldn't move it like that. Come on, clap your hands and give glory to God. Hallelujah. Your knee? Left knee. Uh, this knee. At my other left. It's scary to think I'm a pilot when they say, turn left, heading 270. I'm like, which do I eat with? My fork? Or, okay. That way. <laughs> I'm a little confused because you're backwards right. to me. So this, this one. one. 
Okay, we got it. Praise the Lord. So you have pain in your knee? Is it hard to move or just pain? Every time I bend it, mm -hmm. I feel it, and then it aches around like my meniscus when it gets colder. Okay. Very, We're going to see it right now. Come on, God. Show me Holy Spirit. It's an attack of the enemy. Right now, you the devil, attacking him right now in his knee, in the name of Jesus. Oh, right now, I plead the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus is against you, devil. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing to the knee, to the meniscus right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God. You're going to do it right now. Thank you, God. He'll do it right now. Watch this. Lord Jesus Christ, right now, the mercy of God. Mercy of God flow right now through my hands, touching his knee this very moment. The kingdom of heaven right now, the power of God. Oh, Jesus, there it is right there. He's touching you now. He's touching you right now. Oh, thank you, God, right now. Oh, there it is. It's jumping. It's moving right now. I feel it. Power of God. Muscles, tendons, ligaments, relax. Right now, all the calf muscles, right now, relax. Right now, the knee be healed. Meniscus be healed. There it is. Power of God. Power of God. Oh, right now, it's like he's moving it in my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. Fire of God. Fire of God. Power of God. Now! Oh, I heal this knee right now. I heal the knee right now. Thank you, God. You're touching him right now, this very moment. Oh, thank you, Jesus, right now. Holy Spirit anointing is all over right now, all over it right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Show me, Holy Spirit. I want to make sure. You're healed right now in the name of Jesus. Move your knee. Now start to do what you couldn't do. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Look at that. How's it feel? You can do what you couldn't do. Come on. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give glory to God. You can't fake. People know. Daughter of the King, right here. Come. Come with me. Keep walking. We're going to keep going a little bit more. It's hard even to walk this far, huh? Tell me what happened to you. You're back from your spinal surgeries. And I have had three surgeries on my knee. On your knee. And I have spasms real badly. Just as well. Okay. It's okay. That's all I need to know. Here's what, here's what I want you to do. You can hold on to this. I'm going to pray for you. You can hold on to me if you have to. But here's the thing. If you feel the power of God go through you, let that go. Amen? Amen? So... And you don't have to if you need it. But I'm believing for the power of God to hit you. You're back to be healed. You're going to be walking. You believe for us. Amen. Hold on to that. God, we need your glory right now. Hover over this dear mother right now. What the doctors couldn't do, you can do right now. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the healer. Word of God, speak. Word of God, speak. Holy Spirit, hover. Word of God, speak. Glory of God, come. Glory of God, come. Glory of God, come. Power of God, come. Fire of God, come right now in the name of Jesus. I release you from every curse, every infirmity right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, right now, head to toe, I speak a creative miracle in the back. Right now, God. Right now, God. Holy Spirit, right now, angels of God, minister spirits pull out the arrows of the enemy right now fire of God healing the cervical cord right now in the name of Jesus oh God right now healing the back all the discs in the back right now the vertebrae realign pelvic bone tailbone realign
mind. Lord Jesus Christ, all the pain right now, come out. Pain, come out right now. Fire of God. Fire of God right now, head to toe, head to toe, head to toe. Anointing oil, anointing oil. Oh God, give her strength right now, strength right now, strength right now. Power of God, power of God, power of God, power of God. No, no, fire, fire. Right now, I heal this knee. Arthritis come out, swelling come out, pain be gone, bones be healed. Now, 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 fire! Come on, Holy Spirit, right now. God, the swelling in this knee must go down. Right now, in the name of Jesus. God, right now, total and complete healing. Thank you, God. You're do there it is, right there, it's relaxing. Right now, in the name of Jesus. God is touching you right now, God. Holy Spirit is all over you. Power of God, fire of God, right now, be in the presence of God. Just allow God to do what he wants to do. Jesus, right now, Jesus, right now, healing the back, healing the spine, healing the spinal cord. Fire of God, fire of God, power of God. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Thank you, Jesus, right now. I set you free and heal you in the name of Jesus. Can you both help me? It's okay, take your time. We're going to help you right now. Take your time. Take your time. Now, come stand with me. How are you feeling? Sore. You feel good? Now, I just want to pray because I want to see you walk a few steps. But we're going to look to the cross in a minute. Let me just make sure you're full. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The swelling has to go down in the knee, but God is showing me that you're free. You're going to feel so much less pain, and it's all going to fall out of you in the next few days. Let me ask you this. Are you able to take a few steps? Take a few steps. You can take, hold my hand for a minute, and you can let it go when you're ready. Take a step and just say, Jesus. 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 Look up. Don't look down. Look up, don't look up. Yeah. Come on. You're doing it great. You're doing great. Jesus is with you. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. You're doing great. Only if you need me. Only if you need me. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. How's your back feeling? Her back's not hurting right now. Hallelujah. Let me help you walk this way. Just take your time. Help her down. It's a lot. This is a lot for her right now. But you're going to see how strong you're going to be over the next couple of days. Try not to use that if you don't have to. No, no, no. Help her with her hand. Don't give this to her. She can walk it. You, okay, take it. you can give it back to her after, but I don't want her using it. See, if we pick up the crutch immediately, guess what? We've given it up and we're saying we want to rely on that. Amen? Amen? You understand? Thank you, Jesus. That's what excites me every day. When someone else is in front of me and they get healed, I get excited. Because I know God who's there for them, he's always there for me too. He's with me. God is with me. And when we can see tonight that, oh, it's not another speech, but we saw through certain things that happened, God is with us then we know we're not believing some dead religion where he's like, you know, uh, 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 another character that died and never rose again. Amen? Amen? I never put down other religions. I just lift up Jesus. Amen. But we have to understand, Jesus is the only one. Many prophets and many people, they all came and they all died, but only one of them rose again. Amen. Jesus said, behold, I lived, I died, I live forever. If Jesus lives forever and the Bible is true, then you can't deny Romans 8, 11, Romans 6, verse 4, the same resurrection power that raised Jesus Christ from death to life is available, the Bible says, to what? Quicken your mortal body to touch you. So if Jesus didn't die and raise again, you're wasting your time tonight. But if he did and you believe it, then you can receive a miracle. You can receive a healing. Press in and take that stride of faith. Do not quit. 
Hebrews um, 10, verse 38. God is speaking to us. He says, my righteous one will what? Live by faith. And if he shrinks back, I will not be pleased. So I always say, I tell people, I'm standing at the Red Sea. I think I might have said it this morning. I'm standing at the Red Sea, the, the river's before me. My enemy's behind me, wants to cut my head off. I'm not even going to look back. I'm going to stand in faith and say, Red Sea part, Red Sea part, Red Sea part. In the name of Jesus, Red Sea part. Amen? We have to believe. Let's err on the side of believing our God. These are the strides of faith. And when we take these strides of faith, just finishing right now for the third time, um, <laughs> No, I am, for real. Uh, I was teasing because Chelsea and Carl were outing Rick and Dave today and saying they were with them in the back, and they were asking him, is he almost done, is he almost done, is he almost done? And they're like, we can never tell. And they were trying to give him the clues. Some, sometimes he opens his jacket, sometimes he says this, sometimes that, and they were looking for it. But You know, you guys, you never want to do that to me because I always have the microphone. No, I, I love my team. Chelsea and, and Carl, they're, uh, isn't that amazing, like, how God uses Carl and the worship, and Chelsea, no different. So they run cameras. They do videos. Chelsea edits my books. Chelsea designs book covers. We do every, in the name of Jesus, God, we can't find anyone to do a book cover. You got to give us the talent right now. God gives the vision. What professionals can't come up with, God will give. Amen. So what is the blessing when we take these strides of faith? Just a couple quick points. We overcome the curses that the enemy has placed upon us. Galatians 3, verse 13, and, and again, uh, Ephesians, um, we overcome the curses. 1 John uh, 5, verse 4. So we get to overcome the curses. Also, we get to be seated with Jesus. Ephesians 1, verse 21 and 22, and Ephesians 2, verse 6. And also, we get the healing. Amen? So we see in Acts 14, verse 8 to 10, Paul saw what? A man with faith. And what did he say? Stand up on your feet. People get legalistic with me. Every time I pray, come on, devil, they'll be like, I'll hear echoes of, in the name of Jesus. It's like, I know. How many times have I lifted up Jesus in this place before I pray for the first person? It's a given it's in the name of Jesus. But Paul didn't have to say that. You know why? He did most of the time, and we want to give the glory to Jesus. But Jesus was in him. They are one. Galatians 2.20, he's crucified with Jesus Christ. It's not him who lives. Jesus lives in him. When the devil runs from me, it's not from me. It's they're seeing Jesus who's already in me. It's a given. It's in the name of Jesus. We're not being legalistic. Amen? You can just say, rise up right now. The person can rise when they have the faith. So we have to believe. Jesus, in, um, we see in uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse uh, 28 to 30, two blind men came to Jesus and asked if he would open their eyes. Jesus said, do you believe? They said, yes, Lord, and he opened their eyes. Amen? Amen. We have to err on the side of believing God. Trust God. Take these strides of faith, and these are the blessings that you'll see from God Almighty Jesus Christ. Big is Make straight his path in the wilderness.